What's up guys? So today we got 4th of July Jeremy Hill 95 overall dual style short pads and ground and pound style. 6 foot 1, 93 speed, 93 agility, 92 ball carry, 92 juke, 99 truck, 93 carry, 99 excel, and 91 elusiveness. Also has a 79 catch and a 99 stiff arm. So on paper, he is a true, true power back. And of course, he does have 93 spin and 92 juke. But of course, you know, when you think of Jeremy Hill, you don't think of someone with juke and spinning. You just want to run people over with Jeremy Hill. Now, he only has 93 speed, so you should not expect too many breakaway runs. These were the only times that I did get him. And of course, he's not someone that you should really be running to the outside with too often. But of course, if you see a huge gap like this, don't be afraid to run to the outside and get what you can get. Now, when it came to just breaking tackles, you know, his team of the week card was just so great at that. And this card was only slightly better at it, you know. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it like his broken tackles like an 8.5, which I guess is pretty good. But, it, you know, it's just above average. He wasn't, you know, breaking tackles left and right like, say, DeMarco Murray or Carlos Williams or those boys. So, broken tackles was just above average. When I tried to turn him into an elusive back, I had mild success. I mean, of course, I had like okay success with the juke. But, you know when it came to this the uh, spinning it was almost damn near impossible I only got like one or two good spins with them so I mean of course you don't think of this kind of stuff when you run with Jeremy Hill so if at all you know try to avoid spinning and juking with Hill as far as stiff arms go with 99 stiff arm I did get a few drags a few bump offs like these right here but of course you know I had to get these uh, these uh, whiplash animations I did get a couple of these as you can see so stiff arming was a solid solid A plus when it came with uh, Jeremy Hill now trucking I was very impressed I loved to truck with Jeremy Hill probably one of my favorite backs in the game when it came to just trucking in general fell for it a lot got nice animation so stiff arming and trucking with Hill is always a good idea as far as his hands go you know like most running backs he's not gonna drop too many wide open passes but of course I don't recommend throwing in traffic especially with only 79 catches but of course if he's wide open like this right here or if you see that he's got to step on a guy like right here that's the that's the only time I recommend throwing it. Now he did take like I think like five or six hit sticks, but he did have zero fumbles, so that's always good to know. So from what I saw, fumbling should not be an issue with Hill. Now of course he did have his bad plays, but of course where he struggled the most from what I saw was running to the outside. You know, he does not have that breakaway speed. So when it comes to Jeremy Hill, just stick to trucking and stiff arming by running up the middle. And speaking of running up the middle, this is by far how I had the most success with Jeremy Hill. Running up the middle, lowering your shoulder, trucking your weight or stiff arming your weight, whichever you prefer, and just falling forward as you can see here. Now of course, I'm not saying that you're gonna, you know, get like 15, 20 yards every single time, but I promise you, you'll get much more yards running up the middle as opposed to running, uh, running to the outside. So of course, you know, the player that I was going to be comparing him to was Toby Gerhardt, which seems to be, you know, the standard now for every power back. I, I compare um, them to uh, Toby Gerhardt, and I would say that Toby Gerhardt might be a bit better than Jeremy Hill, but I feel Jeremy Hill is a bit better at trucking. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. My final thoughts, do I think it's worth 70000 Before that Malloy set came out, he was going for like 20 k and that sounded like a great price, but 70000 I feel is way too much, so... If his price ever drops back to 20000 I say go for it, but if not, I say pass on him for now. I don't think he's a top 5 back overall, but I do feel that he's a top 5 power back overall. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review on defense will be Bruce Urban on offense. I have not decided yet, but anyways, guys, um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you boys for that Bruce Urban review. Peace.